What's up, Buttercup? Welcome to Coming Home with Mama T. I'm your host, Tiara, aka Mama T. And on this podcast, we explore the journey of creating the life of our desires through mastering manifestation, maintaining a positive mindset, and living luxuriously, whatever that looks like to you. Now, I don't know what your social media algorithm looks like, but there has been this trend going around that's like, say the weird thing and then it cuts to something else. Let me know if you've ever like heard it, seen it, all that good stuff. But lately from, well, not lately, like on my algorithm, it's not just like a weird thing that someone says. It's always like a knowledge bomb. like, And it is so informative and so fun. And the reason I bring this up is because I was in the middle of, I had a like mentorship call, which I think was pure magic in and of itself. And it was full of so many knowledge bombs. But one of the biggest ones, my biggest takeaway was basically say the weird thing. That's not exactly what the mentor said, but she basically implied, say the weird thing, show up truly authentically like yourself, right? Um, the, I have some pretty woo woo thoughts. Let's, let's be real here. And there are times where I just, I kind of feel like I do, I sanitize it. I make it more digestible for everybody and not just like those select few, like that special you out there that's like meant to be in my energy. You know what I mean? And so I'm like, all right, cool. We're getting, we're getting in there. We're going to say the weird thing. And it's not really that, like, when I think about it, it's not really that weird. It's just my truth. I have been experiencing people in my vortex experiencing magic for themselves, whether they see it as magic or not. I've just been seeing people that have spent time with me really calling in and and amplifying their life and i think it's super amazing especially when i know that i've like thrown a little like energy behind it whether i said it to them or not right and so i'm just watching because i truly believe that we can energetically support one another and so like if you have a belief for yourself and you're like okay like i, I don't know i want to go on vacation like i really want to go to bali and you say to me like i really want to go to bali like i think it'll be amazing it'll be super fun i just like i just need everything to line up for me right now like or whatever if you already believe that the opportunity to go to Bali is there for you, you might just not have like the tickets paid for, da, 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 whatever. I'm going to be like, yeah, you could go to Bali, right? And I could put that energy behind it. And next thing you know, like next thing I talk to you, maybe like you win the trip to Bali or whatever. And so that's like a, a made up thing, right? But the other day we were at a party and I was just like, you know, they were giving out free rent. Like that was like a raffle for free rent. And I was like, oh my gosh, uh, you know, they were pulling the tickets out and multiple people had left the party before they like, they got to the raffle. So like we get there, like the first couple of prizes, smaller prizes, don't really care about them. Like whatever, like you can get, get whatever it is. And, you know, it was usually the first person, maybe the second person that would get the ticket that had the number would come up and get it. And it was like, it was like moving quickly, but the free rent, a month of free rent <laughs> did not, was not like, was like not popping. Like literally the person went through like three, four different numbers before a number was called. And I was like, all right, bring in the energy. Somebody here, like within my like group is gonna like, we're winners of whatever. We're like, part of, I was like really trying to get it from me. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, ooh, like we're gonna get it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna, we're gonna do something here. And so a number gets called and it's like, reading off they're reading off it because it was like a person that walked in with me so like the number was like so close to my number and then they said another number but it was my friend my friend won i was like yeah and you know what part of me was there was that moment of like huh i didn't manifest it for myself i what did i do wrong and then i was like girl no we have this energy right now like we have a collective right if i see us as oneness oneness like we all are extensions of god we all are extensions of source energy the universe we are all extensions and we are all connected we are all one yes and so when somebody else wins i win too right and if i can see it like that if i'm winning they're winning and they're winning i'm winning then what i can't help but be happy right i can't help but celebrate somebody else's win i can't help it right so in seeing that, like, I'm starting to notice because, you know, we as humans can fall into this place of like jealousy, 
envy. How come they get the thing and I don't get the thing? And I was like, you know what? That's not a that's not a fun place to be. That's not a fun space. So I was just before I even went down that rabbit hole of like, psh, they weren't even like running Reiki on that shit. <laughs> How go there they went? I was just like, you know what? We all get to win right now. Like, this is fire. This is good energy. And who knows, down the line, something might happen where, like, you know, something will come up that'll show up for me that might be through that person and that connection. And we have, like, this cycle moment here, right? Like, this giving. Like, we we are sharing the energy. We are doing the good thing. So we're saying the weird thing, right? The weird thing that is, what if we support one another? The weird thing that is that... I know and believe that my energy is good enough and maybe I don't directly win, but someone within it, within my energy wins. I think about this one time and I will say it was a belief of mine that like the good thing wouldn't come directly to me. And so that's also a magic in itself because it sh sh shows me that there might still be a little bit of that belief still there of like, okay, like people in my circle can win, but I don't believe I can win. So where can I shift my energy? Where can I shift my belief st structure there? So that's that self-awareness of like, ooh, am I still doing that? Because I used to think like, oh, well, I won't win. But if I like did something, if like, you know, I'm connected to somebody, right? I'm not the popular person, but I'm connected to popular people. This is how I used to like really think about it. Like, oh, like I'm not the the girlfriend. I'm always the best friend. And these are the things that I'm like, okay, let me change, change that rhetoric. Let me change the words that are coming out of my mouth. Let me change all of the things around it so that my beliefs can change so that my beliefs are better in alignment with, I am the winner. I am the lucky girl. I am all of that good stuff. And me winning doesn't necessarily mean me specifically winning, right? Because everything that I need, do, and want, I already know that it's already mine. So yay, free rent was great. But <laughs> I also got it last month. So it's not a big deal, right? Like, I don't need, like, you know, like, I don't need it, right? But I can get it. I already know it's a possibility. And I know that it's a possibility for those around me when we put bring our collective energy together, that we can get something great. We have something amazing going, right? <laughs> it's pure magic. So going back to the other story, I used to think like, okay, like I can't win, but my roommate can win. I would always, like, I would think that constantly, like, all right, I'm just going to put my energy into like, I don't like, mm, it's not coming to me, but it'll come to Jay. It'll like, they've got it. It'll be fine. And we won second row front center seats to see Hamilton. We run the lottery uh, to see Hamilton at the Kennedy Center back when we lived on, on the East Coast. So like, obviously it won. And so I would say like, oh, like my mindset was always just like, they're the special one. They're the whatever. But what if we, what if we are the special people, right? Rather than somebody else is better. Somebody else is, is more lucky. Somebody else is, what if we, as a collective are the special people what if we get to create something extraordinary for ourselves because i know i have extraordinary experiences and those extraordinary experiences do are a connection of something with somebody else but it's not just like it's not just that other person that made it happen it's ourselves it's like taking coaching right when you when you hire a coach a mentor a consultant or whatever it's not just them that made it happen you did the work too if you've ever done any sort of personal development, it's not your mentor that did the work. You did the work. They might have given you some insights. They might have given you some guidance. They might have given you some inspiration, which is great. And that led you on a path and you chose, you said yes to the opportunity that they opened a door for. And you did your own personal work. And so the results are showing up for you because you did it right? So what if we allow ourselves that opportunity to have the greatness, the opportunity to see the magic? Oh my gosh, like my friend got hired for a new job and we've been hanging out and they've been doing great. And next thing you know, they got promoted and they haven't even been in the job for like two months. You know, it's not just me that did it, but like if we're talking and we're talking about like how much you love it and I'm like, I'm hyping you up. I can say that I feel like I've put forth some energy there, right? Like we've shared some energy, whether it's conscious or unconscious, we're supporting one another. And that's amazing. That also can work in an opposite direction. 
right? Whether intentional or not, somebody could be sending bad juju. Do I like to like believe, like believe that someone's like out there like, no, 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 like don't have your dreams. Like, am I really thinking that someone's sitting on the other side of the computer, their felt headphones or whatever? Like, I hope mama T fails at anything and everything she does. No, I don't think so. I don't really like want to believe in any of that. Like, I don't, I don't think that I've hurt anybody or done any, created anything for somebody to feel that way. But that being said, there might be someone that's like, oh, I hope that they get a good job. And I'm like, I don't want a job. I'm an entrepreneur, right? And so like there could be a disconnect. So we have to support each other and actually supporting <laughs> exactly what each other want, meeting each other, like meeting what I expect for myself, right? And so we have to have that alignment for that collective energy to actually blow it up and create that like quantum leap and I feel called to say and this is something that we can definitely do in the home membership if you're interested in like more ritual and that kind of work is like you know we can call people like to call it like the evil eye and I think I talked about it before on, an, on a previous um podcast episode where yes if someone's intention for you is not in alignment with the intention you have for yourself you might want to do a little energy work to make sure that you are still holding that space right holding that space and holding that energy for you feeling in a space that you are already you're safe right I like to say that I am always safe I am safe I know exactly who I am I know what I want I know where I want to go and opportunities show up for me constantly to help me continue to grow on the pathway that I am desiring for myself and that trumps what anybody else's intention for me whether they have good intentions or bad intentions my intentions are the number one intentions in my life right and so that is my belief and that is my power right and we get to hold that you can hold that for yourself but what if we hold held that for each other how much more amplified would that power be and that's that collective work and that opportunity to grow and thrive together. And that's what why I created the home membership, right? So that we have the opportunity to grow and thrive together, have that opportunity to check in with ourselves and make sure that we're holding ourselves accountable for taking radical self-responsibility. And when we feel that shift and that that wavering in it, we can post in that space and be like, okay, I'm having, I'm having a day, right? This is this is what I want and this is this is what I want. This is what I know. But I'm just like, I know that there's a belief here. Like I'm feeling wobbly in this space and we can support each other and like adjusting that wobble creating some stability so that we can uphold that energy together and that that is our power that is our collective power which is pure magic so that's the weird thing right we are pure magic and our pure magic can amplify together yes we can manifest anything we desire you have to be the desire right so what if we be in community <laughs> and continue to create and thrive and grow and let go of control let go of this sense of struggle and fear and what if we allow everything to be so simple so fun so amazing like such such a vibration that you just can't help but be like fuck yeah yes, this is amazing right I want that I want that for you I want that for me I want that for all of us right we want to be able to have that that fuck yes levels of money where we can just buy be do have whatever it is we want to have that level of freedom we want to have that level of spaciousness joy and fun we are worth it i truly believe that life isn't meant to be a grind i truly believe that we are supposed to have this freedom to explore and expand ourselves if we choose to do so i believe that we have the freedom to connect with with earth with nature with god source i truly believe that we each have our own individual power and our own individual medicine that we bring to this world and we individually get to choose if we're going to use it if we're going to believe in it if we're going to share it if we're going to show it off if we're going to shout it from the rooftops i believe that we have this power and i'm ready to 
truly tap into this power. So if you're ready to tap into this power with me, I invite you on this journey. The home membership is ready and waiting for you. One-on-one -on -one sessions are ready and waiting for you. Mentorship packages are ready and waiting for you. I even have a homestay opportunity ready and waiting for you. At homestay, we do have to have a conversation about because uh, it's something new and fresh that I'm trying. I'm gonna, uh, I'm working on. So if that sounds like super fun for you, then uh, let's let's have a little talk. We talk about it. But with that, I'm gonna say, ta ta for now. Remember, everything's on www.mamatenergy.com, and I love you so much.